Hey, everybody out there at e-commerce business school land, this is the Curtis and Curtis show. Welcome. Kay Curtis will be presenting some more wisdom on mindsets as we race to Minnesota. So on behalf of Ann Sieg and Brian Cummings and all of us coaches and trainers and staff here at e-commerce business school, come along for the ride. We are going to have some fun today. So I'm going to get to the slide deck and say hello everybody this is race to minnesota and so just go ahead and take your lunch break pause what you're doing beth you are going to want to stick around candida you are going to want to stick around welcome everybody if you have questions along the way Kay and I will try to answer them as we go. Hi, Lisa. Welcome, everybody. This is the Curtis and Curtis Show. Race to Minnesota as we're all heading to Minnesota. Got some really cool announcements at the end of today's presentation, too. So stick around for that. Hey, Judy. All right. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Well, Kay, thank you for doing this. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on over to you. We are, I'm on slide two, week seven. Here we are, race to Minnesota, slide three with the hands going like this. Kay, thanks so much. I've gotten a lot out of this and I know other people have also. Take her away. All right. Okay. So welcome everybody. I'm glad you're back. Um, I just, this is just a little intro slide. I've, I've stripped out some of the beginning slides so we don't take so much time going through that. If you're new, we're glad you're here. Everyone can participate, even if you aren't going to Minnesota. The goal of this is to move your business forward, and having fun competitions is a fun way of doing that. If you need to know how to participate and you want to, or if you're just here for the ride, that's fine. You can go back and look at any of the other um, previous calls that we've done, and that'll, especially the early on ones, um, and that will give you a lot of details on what we're doing to participate. As part of the fun, next slide, Kurt. You can win prizes, and we have fun things to pick from. We pick a weekly winner. We pick a consistency winner every three weeks, and this week is consistency week. And then there'll be a grand prize winner that'll be announced at our trifecta event, July 19th through the 21st in Bloomington. Next slide, our weekly prizes that you can pick from are two awesome uh, EBS products, the mug or the journal. And then the next slide, you can, I have been inspired doing these classes and have designed a whole line of products on manifesting. And so we, um, I, we worked it out with EBS to be able to offer some of these to you um, as pr optional weekly prizes. So we have these three manifesting mugs. And then if you go to the next slide, there are three more. These all say the same words. They're just in different shapes um, that you can pick from. You can see my website on the bottom. There's lots of products. I was adding a bunch of products up there this morning, stickers and magnets and mouse pads and all kinds of things. So there's a lot of fun stuff that just kind of beef up and add a lot of positive vibes to your working space. And then the next slide, last week or two weeks ago, we introduced a gratitude journal. And so that's also available as a potential weekly prize. And so let's get our drum roll going for our weekly winner this week and go to the next slide. And it is Beth. And Beth she is here on the call, Kay. Congratulations, Woo! Beth. So congratulations, Beth. That's awesome. And welcome, Debbie. Welcome, Real. Welcome, Rebecca. Welcome, Jana. Hey, Beth, congratulations. Lucinda says hi, Curtis's. <laughs> Candida, awesome. Judy, welcome everybody. So everybody uh, give uh, Beth there a, a nice high five. Yeah, that's great, Beth. She's done really, there's several of you that I can see people are kind of dropping off in their accountability. They were kind of slipping, but I've got some really good consistency. So um, Beth, to claim your prize, if you want any of the manifesting products that I've designed, you just need to email support and let Lisa know which one you want. If you want one of the EBS ones, that's fine. And then Lisa can let me know um, if you want if you want one of the manifesting ones, then I can get it ordered for you. Okay, and then we have our consistency. Next slide. Um, consistency winner gets winners. We actually have six this week, and they get a twenty-five dollar Amazon gift card and yummy brownies. Um, next slide, Kurt. Actually, go to. We may as well announce the consistency winners this time. So those are the prizes. 
And then our consistency winners for this time is Beth. She's a double dipper this week. <laughs> Debbie Kane, Sharon Safford, Candida Lillard, Jackie Kramer, and Real Overton All are right. our consistency winners for this second round. Congrats, awesome gal. Job, guys. Awesome. You're awesome. doing great. So everybody, pat yourself on the back. You've been, and I'm hoping you're seeing the results of your commitment in the race to Minnesota in results in your business. And then our last, go to the next slide, Kurt, the um, grand prize winner, which will be announced at the trifecta event, will get a $100 Amazon gift card. All right, it's time for our goofy question of the day. Next slide. Actually, you can go two. <clears throat> How many homes have you lived in since you were born? I had to sit there and count them up. For me, I've lived in 11 and I'm moving into my 12th in North Carolina. All right, Kay, define home. But does it like actually have to be a home? Do apartments no, count? Do apartment. barns count? I mean, what counts here? You know, I mean, like when I was born, my parents lived in an apartment, you know. Okay, and so all right. It's just where you called home, whether it was a home, an apartment, a trailer, doesn't matter. Whatever you called home, how many different ones have you lived in? So I've lived in 11 and I'm moving into 12. I did that in a two-year stretch, 12 different places. <laughs> yeah, anyone that's in the service or whatever could have a lot more moves than me. When we moved into our house that we're in now in, Mount, in Maryland 35 years ago. It was supposed to be our starter house. We didn't plan on being there more than five years. 35 years later, we're still here. Oh, real, 31. Jackie, three. Lisa, five. Cool. Rebecca, six. <laughs> Beth, Real, 15. <laughs> Real's, Real's military. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Real's got to be military for 31. Renee, six. Awesome. All right. Well, let's. that's just kind of a fun thing to do. Let's get into our mindset. It's not going to be real long today because I think you're going to catch this law really easy. So next slide is basically our intro to mindset training. And Candida's in 12th, Martha's in 9, Rebecca's in, go, oh, Rebecca's correcting hers to 10. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go to the next slide. Next one, the law of opposition. So today we're going to talk about the law of opposition in our journey of joy to success and abundance. And then let's go to the next slide. So the law of opposition basically states that everything of consequence has an opposite that is of equal degree. Now we're gonna look at that a little bit more. What are some things that you can think of off the top of your head that are opposites? Are you on the, will you, I'm not, yeah, there we go, there it's flipped. What are some opposites that you can think of? Just pop into your head. Dog, cat, black, white, men, women. Okay, <laughs> let's go to the next slide and let's look at a few examples. We got um, full, empty, short, long, sh soft, hard, closed, open, cold, hot, blunt, sharp. That kind of describes you and me, Kay. I'm, yeah. bl I'm blunt and you're sharp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next. <clears throat> and we have good, bad, fast, slow, white, black day, night, smooth, rough, big, small. So you can see all around us, we see opposites. That it's all part of that, okay? Now let's go to the next slide, Kurt. So opposite equals, is e there's an opposite and an equal and opposite. Uh, there's always this, balance this opposition that's going on um so you remember two weeks ago when we talked about the law of relativity that things are only good or bad compared to something else and the emotions that we attach to them well with the law of opposition we learn that things have within them both good and bad so when you're in a bad situation then the law of opposition assures you that there is within it something good Okay, 
So if something is just a little bit bad, then it's only going to be a little bit good. But if something is catastrophic, at least in your mind, then there is within it by law something phenomenal. And so understanding that helps to give us hope when we're going through these more challenging times. Let's go to the next slide, Kurt. So Napoleon Hill, which is another author I really like, and um, you can see throughout all of these presentations that I am referencing a lot of different books that I've read over the years. And Napoleon Hill said that every adversity, every failure, and every heartache carries with it the seed of an equivalent or greater benefit. When you understand that, then you can, it can help us with perspective and help us keep our head on straight when we're dealing with hard things. Next slide. So we want to never give up, but too many people give up when, on a goal because things are, are got hard or everything is going wrong. So that must be a sign I shouldn't be doing this. Things will get hard. Let me just say that right up front. You can count on it. Just think of exercising or weight training. It's the resistance in that process that makes you stronger. So what this should be telling you, instead of quitting, is that the reward is just that much closer. But realize that it may not happen when you want it to. And that's the hard part. So you have to have patience, which is one, not one of my strong points. <laughs> when I want something, I want it right now. But the anticipation can make the reward that much better. So exercising the impatience and anticipation of it. Keep your thoughts focused on your desired results. Remember from our law of continual transformation that we talked about a few weeks ago, as you hold on to your focused thoughts and don't throw it out with negativity, that formless results are starting to gathering and to cause your results to materialize. Your desired results always follow some tough times. That is just the nature of the world we're in. It's a test. It's all good. Sometimes the universe wants to see, do you really want this? So you put this idea out there and they're trying to, is this really what you want? The high achievers, those who live in the abundant plane, remember we talked about the competitive plane and the abundant plane? The high achievers who live in the abundant plane make it a habit of looking for the good in any situation. You look for the good and then more good will come by law. So next slide. So while we go through and every week we've talked about a different law, it's really important to learn the law, understand the law, understand how they relate to each other and complement each other. And there's actually a synergy in these laws. And then we live by these laws of thought. When we can do that, we're more in control and it will set you and your ideas free. Last slide told you this was going to be a quick one today. <laughs> the final quote today, I'm stronger because I had to be. I'm smarter because of my mistakes. I'm happier because of the sadness I've known. You see these oppositions that we've talked about? And now I'm wiser because I learned. That's what all of this is about, is all of these experiences, the various trials, it's because there's something that we need to learn. So when we, you know, we've talked about this before several times, turn it around. Instead of saying, why is this happening to me? What am I supposed to learn from this? What do I need to be doing to move this forward and get our focus and our head in the right space? All right, Kurt, back to you. Okay, that was just really insightful, especially that last thing that you said is when you ask the right question, your brain is searching for that answer. And so it's so crucial that you, instead of complain or just make a negative declaration, that you say, okay, what can I learn? What needs to happen? How can I figure this out? Because the brain just, when you sleep at night, it just, it's going 
um, uh, you know, inside of you looking for that right answer. So uh, what you said there at the end is really so key to developing this kind of uh, attitude towards opposition that will serve you well in the future. So thank you so much. Sarah says, pain, no gain. Uh, Debbie yeah. says, K, the future is pliable. Uh, yin and yang, uh, dead and alive. Oh, now we're back to the opposites. Yeah, so... Rill says we waited 16 years to get a better car. And last night we bought a 2018 Kia Rio and love it. Pinch me. All right, Rill. Awesome. Congratulations. <laughs> Pinch. There you go. Good on you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Rill says count your blessings one by one. Awesome. Yep. Awesome. Love the message on the poster. Yeah. Awesome. So thank you so much, guys. Good stuff. Keep asking questions, any comments you got there, guys. As Kay said, today's a little bit shorter, but we are on the race to Minnesota. Whether you can actually show up in person live in Minnesota in July, um, if you're still researching that, go to EBS, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, ebstrifecta.com. The link is in the panel there, and you can find out all about it. A presentation is actually three one-day workshops. We're flying the infamous uh, Danita over from Italy. And she's going to be with us. And so it's just really going to be good. Now, we also have some big news. It's not exactly prizes. It's more um, some lucky people that show up in Trifecta. Also, I wanted to make sure everybody was kept us on their radar. There's going to be a big giveaway, uh, first of all, on the 4th of July and live in Minnesota. We are giving away complimentary tickets to the Ultimate Business Lifestyle Retreat. And so two lucky winners there. So make sure you are on your way to uh, Trifecta. You're going to have a chance to win one of those two tickets. But there's even bigger news than that. For those that are in Minnesota in July at the Trifecta, a name is going to be drawn out of a hat. And Kay, we are gifting someone with an e-commerce master's program membership. Wow, that's awesome. Yeah, everybody I've told that really understands the value of it has, has said either wow or something even more dramatic than that that I can't repeat on the air. you didn't do that a few years ago when <laughs> I joined. <laughs> so get to Minnesota for a lot of reasons and this might just be the icing on the cake for you if you come that you now again if you're already in EMP it's not for you and I wouldn't wait to, to win this to join EMP but I tell you what if you get there you know you know what boy I, I don't know if I can make EMP but I, I definitely can make Minnesota and I'd love to win it then this is speaking to you so come come on come all it's just going to be well 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 worth your time um, it's three days. We start on a meet and greet uh, Thursday night. Uh, Friday's the Shopping Water Wealth Workshop. Saturday's the Online Shopping Profit System Workshop. And on the 21st is the Book Flipping Profit System. Now, I don't think there's any coincidence that a lot of the winners that you're seeing here, a lot of the people that you see doing really well, a lot of the people that are really um, uh, doing this knockdown part, like Beth. Beth was a winner today. Has Beth been to an event? Yes, she has. And so um, it, there's just a correlation there. And uh, Kay, I'll ask you, since you're uh, talking to us about mindset and how all the electrons connect, is it just simply a coincidence that people that come to events do better overall in their business? I mean, it's not required, but what's the connection there? Why, why, why is there a strong correlation between event attendees and success in e-commerce? Because when you go to these events, not only do you learn from the masters that have done really, really well, but you network with like-minded people. And when you get that synergy of energy between the trainers and, the, and your peers that are there, the motivation that comes out of that just springboards you into acceleration mode. And you, and you see massive action and massive results. And that's happened every event that I've gone to. Just, awesome. You know, I mean, it's you say you can't afford to go. I kind of say you can't afford not to if you want to build your, you know, if you want your business to really fly. Got it. Uh, there, there's Beth, our winner today. I mean, there are other consistency winners there too, but there she is at an event and doing well on her way to making money to buy that house and so on and so forth. So anyway, that's the end of my commercial. Let's see if there are any more questions here before we call it a wrap on the Curtis and Curtis show today. 
Uh, Dan asked, would it be, would it help to come early? Only that you get settled in uh, the night before is a meet and greet. Make sure you get that. But earlier than that, as far as any activities and stuff, uh, as long as you are mentally, physically ready to hit it um, that Thursday evening, earlier than that, uh, I can't think of any other reason other than your own you know, some people when they travel, they need a few hours to regroup. Some even need a full day, depending on how far you're traveling and all that. Besides that, the easy answer is no. Uh, Candida says, I think when I announce the, we're some lucky winner at uh, Minnesota's going to be gifted EMP. She says, holy moly, that's amazing. Absolutely. And are we trying to bribe people to get there? Absolutely. Because we <laughs> want you to succeed. So... Anyway, okay, thank you. That's all I'm on the last slide now. Any last thoughts before we uh, say thanks to everybody and we'll see him again next week? Just keep on hustling, guys. You're doing great. Awesome. We'll see you next week. Awesome. Curtis and Curtis Show, signing off. Make it a great day. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.